Hey guys, it's Brett. And Brad. We're here with the March 2024 Warmer and Scent of the Month. Just got it today, so we're gonna do a little video and unbox it here. We have the scent right here first. We're gonna show you, which if you saw the February whiff box we did, we had a bar of this in that whiff box. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Brad is gonna show you a close up. It's Cotton Candy Tails is the scent of the month for March. Super cute. It's got little eggs and little strawberries on there. Yep. So we got seven bars right here. And then we got one pod as well, because they have they come with pods in our uh, scent of the month kits for consultants. Mm -hmm. But then of course when they go on sale March 1st, you, you'll be able to get them bars and pods and room sprays and scent circle. So here's the flyers. We get 50 flyers as well, brochures. And it has, of course, the warmer and everything inside there, and the notes and all that stuff. So, Candy Cotton Tells is wild strawberry hops into a fluffy fantasy of creamy caramel and sweet sponge sugar. Fragrance family is bakery, and top note is wild strawberry, mid note is creamy caramel, and base note is sweet spun sugar. And it's really good. Been warming this the past two days in our master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. It is really good. I'm loving it. It's a really good performer too. Mm -hmm. So mostly what I get on cold and on warm is definitely caramel and that sweet sponge mm -hmm. sugar. Yeah. You don't get much strawberry. No, not at all. Just a barely hint of strawberry, but it's not a fruity scent at all. It's more bakery, definitely more bakery with that creamy caramel and sweet sponge sugar. Just maybe a little hint of a, of a strawberry, but more of a bakery strawberry. It's not a fru real fruity, summery strawberry. It's more of a bakery strawberry, the little bit you get in there. But it's just a really good caramel, uh, sweet sponge sugar. It shows cupcakes on here and cotton candy for the sweet sponge sugar. I don't really get cotton candy though. No. Uh, Candy Orchard, the January sun of the month, that was more cotton candy than this is. Even though it shows cotton candy on here, but this this is more like that cupcake that they show here. It's more along the lines of a cupcake. Like a sugary, sweet cupcake than like a cotton candy. And you really do get that caramel. So I've heard some people say that similar to, it was Bring Back My Bar, I think it was a, was a caramel vanilla cone, I think. It kind of gives me vibes of that. There's a couple of them bring back my bar this past uh, January. This kind of reminds me of a couple of those bars in there. Yeah, just like that caramel and that sponge sugar. Really good. And it's, it was a good strong medium. It wasn't like a high, but it was a good strong medium in the, in the bedroom. Did really well. It's still, I can still smell it when I go to the bedroom I've had in there this the second day. So I'm pleased with it and I definitely would get it again. And I would recommend it, especially if you like bakery scents. But just keep in mind, you're not gonna get a lot of strawberry. Okay, so we're gonna smell the pods, see if they smell any different than the bars. I feel like it's not, mm. as, it's not as caramely. It's a little, it is a little different. I feel like I smell strawberry more in here. Do you? I don't know about that, I just feel like it's not... There's so much more caramel and sponge sugar in there. It smells... It's supposed like... to have strawberry in it though, right? No? Yeah. It smells, I, guess. I mean, just a hint of strawberry in there. It smells like some kind of... But like, the bar, I don't. Like something you put on steaks or something like some kind of seasoning or something. Why does it smell like some kind of seasoning to me? It smells different. I don't think it does. It smells... It smells good. It smells... This different. I like the bar better, but we'll see how the pods do. It smells different in the pods. Yeah. But I still think it smells good, though. Once the air gets falling through in my smell a little different. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the bar. I really get that caramel a lot more in the bar. The bar smells so good. Okay, so I forgot to add, we finished the video and I meant, I recorded this, I'm going to edit this back into the video. I forgot to mention, we filmed it, about the pods. So I said in our last scent of the month video for February scent of the month, which was the Lucky Leprechaun and the Shamrock Splash Bar that I was going to use the pods in my car and let you know each month how long they lasted because the Aloha or the yeah, 
Candy Orchard from January, that lasted the, almost a whole month until February. Shamrock Splash from February didn't last the whole month until today when I'm filming the video. It only lasted about two weeks. So it wasn't four weeks, it was only right around the two week part, it started dying down to where I wanted to change it out. So that one only lasted about two weeks. So we'll see how long this cotton candy tails last in the car. But two weeks, even to me, is pretty good. So um, not wasn't quite as long as January 1, but it still did decent. So we'll see how long this lasts. And I'll let you know when we film our uh, April 7th of the month video. And so the uh, scent bars, Scentsy bars are normally $6 on sale for $5.40. And then the pods are normally ten dollars, but on sale for nine. And then the room spray is normally nine dollars, but it's on sale for eight ten. And then the scent circles are usually three dollars on sale for two seventy, so you get ten percent off. Yep. And then we also got our little rub and sniff stickers that we can use to put on happy mill and things like that. And now we have the warmer. So excited for this warmer. Wake up. I don't know why I'm yawning. So we saw this warmer, um, of course we've seen pictures of it online, and then we went to World Tour this past weekend. We saw it in person mm -hmm. at World Tour because they had products on display there. So we have seen it in person, but we're it's really cute. We have our own now. We just got in the mail, so we're gonna show you. It's called Happy Hair. Pretty big, pretty big box here. So let's open it up. And this is one of those warmers that's gonna be real easy to get out. It's just got the two, uh, what do you call that? Not the kind of cardboard like, whatever that's called? Cardboard like sleeves that it'll be in between. And just open it up. Is inside. Just take it right out. Easy peasy. Just take it out of the plastic. And there it is. I love this warmer so much. Super duper cute. So it is like ceramic and it has a, it's like a glazed ceramic. It's real shiny. I'm trying to block this out because. Yeah, see how it shines? It's real shiny and glossy. There we go. Really pretty, and it's holding a basket, Easter basket. And that's where your wax goes in the basket. And it is element warmer, so it doesn't light up. It's really freaking cute and adorable. Yeah, the, it just gets hot down here in the dish. So it's not a bowl, but it just has a hot plate in there that gets hot, but on the back, there'll be a light. Where's the light? Oh yeah. On the back of the basket, there's a little bitty round dot. That mm. should light up probably red or orange, I think. Yeah when you turn it on to let you know that the warmer's on. Okay. That's the only light that'll light up. But I really like this, it's so super so cute. cute. I had to get it, I super couldn't resist. Cute. We don't have a lot of yeah. Easter warmers. We have last year, uh, March, set of the month was um, Hoppy Easter, I believe it was called. And it was a bunny as well. It looked like it was carved out of, like a wood carving bunny. Really like that one too. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't look like wood, it's like ceramic glaze and really soft. And I just I really like that a lot. Yeah. So that's so cute. the warmer. And then the wattage on this warmer is let me go on the back of the box here. Bottom of the box, it is 10 watt. It's 10 watt. I don't think it says on the bottom of that warmer there. I thought it did. Sometimes they'll have a tag. Yeah, right there. Does it? Says it? Oh, okay. Sometimes they'll have a little, like a little paper tag on the on the warmer. Some do, some of them don't. I'm not sure why some do and some don't. I personally don't like those tags. I'll cut them off because I don't like them hanging out. But maybe they're not putting them on there anymore. I don't know. But yeah, so that's a 10 watt. So it should do decent. Mm -hmm. It's better than eight or nine. Um, a January and the February, I think. It was like eight or nine, I think, but this is 10, so it's a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, so it'll do pretty good, I think. And it's 9.5 inches tall. And the description. And it says, a warmer with 
light. Sorry. Sleepy boy. I don't know why. Let me start over. A warmer with a light-hearted sim 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 simplicity. simplicity. This playful posted posed Post. bunny eagerly waits for Easter goodies. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And then um, it's normally sixty dollars, but with it being for the month, it's on sale. Ten percent off. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Fifty-four bucks. And then it has a few little pictures and it shows yeah. you just the warmer with with wax in it. Just kind of give you an idea. See. Different ways you can. It looks like with wax in there. Oh gosh. Shining, shining. Just wants to shine. There we go. There we go. So yeah, right. it's super duper cute. Yep, it is. I love it. So you just take your wax out, put it in there, out of the container, of course. Turn it on, and you'll be good to go. You'll be smelling that goodness, delicious caramel with the sweet sponge sugar. Just a little, little like cotton candy tails in here. Little hint of strawberry, but it's not really cotton candy though. Mm -hmm. I feel like that name's a little misleading. I don't. I don't really think it smells like cotton candy. No, but it does smell like caramel and sponge sugar, and it's really, 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 really good. Yeah. I like it. Maybe they should call it like caramel candy tails or something like that. Maybe. But yeah, really good. Recommend it. Really good. Performs well. Yes. And this is super cute. Nice. How can you not want to get that cute little warmer? I know, it's so freaking adorable. All right, so thanks for watching. This will be, but will be available March 1st on our website or your consultant's website. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, y'all.